In this video, we'll explore the mathematical language routine, critique, correct, and clarify. Before diving into the routine, we want to first outline what you can expect from us during our time together. We'll introduce critique, correct, and clarify, and then model the routine. We'll offer a guide to the routine and connect you to resources for future inquiry and practice. In order to make this the best experience for you, while viewing this video, we suggest you do the following. Pause at critical reflection points to give yourself time to think. Pair this learning with the guide and note catcher, the provided resources that go along with this information. Additionally, we encourage you to experience this video with a coach, colleague, and or PLC. Collaborating with others can help to identify ways to make this routine easier to implement and increase student buy-in. And finally, learning is a journey. Come back to this video as many times as you need to grow. Equitable algebra instruction requires us to engage all students' thinking through positioning them as sense makers and valued contributors in mathematics learning. One approach to strengthen opportunities and build structures for students to communicate their ideas to others is a multi-step academic routine called Critique, Correct, and Clarify. So what does this routine entail? Think of Critique, Correct, and Clarify as having three criteria, mathematical language, refinement, and cognition. When you apply all steps of the routine, you engage students in all three criteria. Specifically, one, the teacher leads students to progress to the mathematical learning goal through the use of mathematical language. Two, the teacher leads students to refine peers' mathematical writing by correcting errors and clarifying meaning. And three, the teacher leads students to cognitive engagement by optimizing output and maximizing meta-awareness. Throughout the video, We'll return to these criteria to help us customize this routine for our students. Let's see Critique, Correct, and Clarify in action. Imagine you're a student in an Algebra 1 lesson and about to experience the mathematical language routine. To engage as a student during the model, please access the note catcher to record your ideas. Now that you have your note catcher to record your responses as a student, let's start the model. I will play the role of the teacher applying the routine. And I will narrate the steps of critique, correct, and clarify as he models. The teacher will model the first step. Present by presenting a partial or broken argument, explanation, or solution method. Then, the teacher will model the second step, the prompt the teacher will prompt students to identify inaccuracies. To make the most of this model, access the video's note catcher now and write your thoughts as if you were a student. Here's the teacher applying the present and prompt steps of the mathematical language routine. All right, everyone, we've read the task, looked at the graph, and answered questions one and two. While we found the precise predictions using the equation, we found that for about every $1.50 for ingredient cost, we predict the sales price would be about $6. Also, if the sales price is about $7, we'd predict the ingredient cost would be about $1.75. Now, we'll use a mathematical language routine called Critique, Correct, and Clarify to help us with question three. First, we'll read a partial or flawed statement. You will critique it, and we will improve it together using precise mathematical language. Here's our statement. The slope means that as sales increase, the cost of ingredients increases. Together with a partner, critique this statement. Ask yourselves, how is this statement partially correct or flawed? After you identify how, work together to improve the statement using the information we know so far in the prompt, graph, and questions one and two. You just saw a teacher model both Step 1, Present, and Step 2, Prompt, of Critique, Correct, and Clarify. Now, pause the video and think about the statement, the slope means that as sales increase, the cost of ingredients increases. Write any inaccuracies that are top of mind on your personal note catcher during this time.
after students have the opportunity to work with their peers to identify the errors or ambiguity, analyze the statement in light of their own understanding of the problem, and work on proposing a draft response. The teacher has students share their drafts. Let's see him do this. Our partial or flawed statement is, the slope means that as sales increase, the cost of ingredients increases. Let's consider two revisions from our class. The slope shows the change in the ingredient cost as the sales price change. And the slope means the change in the ingredient cost as it relates to the sales price. How do these revisions make our statement more precise and accurate? Pause the video now and compare the student's improvements to what you have documented on your personal note catcher. When finished, continue watching for next steps. You may have made a similar revision or were more precise. The goal is to identify further areas where more precise language is needed and engage students in another round of drafting to hone their revisions further. In the final step, refine, the teacher gives students an opportunity to refine their first draft response. Let's see this step modeled. Now that we've critiqued the different statements relating to the information shown on the graph, refine your draft statement further. To do so, revisit the information in the task, graph, and problems one and two to identify more terms and figures that would make your statement clearer. Before you watch the teacher share student responses, pause the video and refine your own statement on your note catcher using the two draft responses the teacher highlighted. When you're done, continue watching. For a final draft, we'd expect students to use specific terms, values, and mathematical language in the task to refine their statements further. An example of this would be, the slope of 3.48 means that for every extra dollar spent on ingredients, the predicted sales price of the food item increases by about $3.48. Where the statement now includes information and values from the context, the graph, and uses language that demonstrates conceptual understanding of the topic. You experienced one way to apply critique Correct and clarify. Check your understanding of the routine with a few questions. Summarize the routine as a series of four steps. Pause the video to give yourself time to think. Access your note catcher to check your thinking. And unpause it when you are ready to check your understanding. Be the teacher who applies this routine using the following steps. First, present a partial or flawed argument, explanation, or solution method from a problem. Next, prompt your students to identify any inconsistencies, inaccuracies, and or errors, critique the reasoning of the statement, and write a draft improved response. Then, allow your students to share out their draft improved responses with the whole class. Finally, allow for your students to refine their original draft responses. Here's something else to consider. During the routine, what are the teacher and students thinking about? Pause the video to give yourself time to think. Access the note catcher to record your thinking. And unpause it when you are ready to check your understanding. You may have noted that the teacher thinks about the partial or flawed statement in advance and asks questions that spur new ideas for successive drafts. Meanwhile, students think about mathematical concepts to improve written work. This critique allows them to correct errors and clarify meaning. Maximizing meta-awareness and optimizing output are layered principles within the Critique, Correct, and Clarify Mathematical Language Routine. Take a moment now to reference your Critique, Correct, and Clarify guide as we explain these two principles. We promote opportunities for students to optimize output. That's the chance to express thinking orally, visually, and in writing. This looks like students sharing ideas in pairs, small groups, and to the whole class using a variety of expressive methods. Simultaneously, we facilitate opportunities for students to maximize their meta-awareness. That's the conscious thinking about their own thought processes and language use. This looks like students using and refining their mathematical language during conversation to be better understood and to access the mathematical thinking of their peers.
Great instruction starts at the planning level. And while we'll look at all three criteria in this process, we'll zoom in to the process of planning for mathematical language. Access the note catcher and guide now to reference the full task once again. The critique, correct, and clarify routine provides a structured way for students to analyze their peers' reasoning and, therefore, their own. Some curricula have built-in guidance for this routine, like the RAISE curriculum. But if you're wondering how you can bring this into your classroom now, let's see what makes an activity a good fit for this routine. So, how do you plan a grade-level task worthy of optimizing output and maximizing meta-awareness? Let's go back to the model. Here's the Algebra 1 task from before. I selected it because I believe students have enough knowledge to critique the reasoning of their peers, and it provides opportunities to discuss concepts orally, visually, and in writing. Why? I noticed this task has students interpret the slope and vertical intercept of a linear model, and it includes multiple problems that build in complexity for students to demonstrate their understanding through writing, illustrating, and speaking. That means there are many opportunities to identify errors and lead students to critique, correct, and clarify their own work. With the task identified, I'll pre-create a partial or flawed response and later present to students. This response will be for problem 3, as it's here where students must first interpret and construct an argument for what the slope of the line means in context. After, I will prompt students to identify how many pre-made response is partial or flawed, and have students draft an improved response. After students have the opportunity to work with their peers to draft their responses, I'll have them critique my partial or flawed statement with their own drafts. It's now where I can surface deeper misconceptions about the content, and have students correct and clarify them. Finally, I can promote meta-awareness by having students refine their spoken, visual, and written reasoning over the course of multiple draft statements. This will be done individually, in pairs, and whole group, depending on how students progress to the mathematical learning goal. Check your understanding again. Is the goal of critique, correct, and clarify to solve a mathematical task? Pause the video to give this some thought. Access the note catcher to record your thinking and unpause it when you are ready to check your understanding. No, critique, correct, and clarify is not used to solve tasks or merely for answer getting. Rather, it allows students to process concepts by finding errors, analyze the response in light of their own understanding of the problem, and work with a peer to propose an improved response. We encourage you to use what we've modeled to now plan and apply a task that you will teach. The RAISE curriculum is full of rich tasks that optimize output and maximize meta-awareness using the critique, correct, and clarify routine. Access the RAISE curriculum now to first identify a task for this routine that you will teach. Select an appropriate task and ask yourself, does the task provide an opportunity for students to reflect on incomplete explanations, critique their peers' thinking, draft and refine written mathematical work? Pause the video now to identify your task and return to advance when ready. Now that you have a task, access the Critique, Correct and Clarify guide to inform your planning. Access the RAISE guide now and specifically the plan columns mathematical language, refinement, and cognition criteria. Using the guide, first present a partial or flawed statement. Next, prompt students to identify the errors or ambiguity, analyze the response, and work both individually and in pairs to propose an improved response. Then, have students share their proposed draft responses. Finally, allow students a chance to refine their original draft in response to what they hear. Pause the video now to plan your application and return to advance when ready.
What could it take to improve this routine even further? Let's zoom in on one of the ways we can optimize the routine's refinement criteria. Access the note catcher and guide now to reference the full task once again. Recall earlier when the teacher presented the following statement to the class. The slope means that as sales increase, the cost of ingredients increases. Imagine that students are new to this routine and need to be taught the thinking that goes on when we critique mathematical statements. So, after introducing critique, correct, and clarify to students, have them think about the questions you ask yourself while refining statements. Once you introduce the partial or flawed statement, such as the slope means that as sales increase, the cost of ingredients increases, narrate how you think about the statement and how it could be changed. For example, It's true that there is a positive relationship between cost of ingredients and sales, yet the statement can be more precise. What language have I used to describe slope in the past? Let's refine this statement that way first. Here's what I came up with. The slope shows the change in the ingredient cost as the sales prices change. Hmm, this can be even more precise. I can use the actual values I found in problems one and two, as well as use specific language from the graph's axes. Also, I should use predicted to communicate that the slope represents a trend in the data rather than actual observations. Let's try this again. The slope of 3.48 means that for every extra dollar spent on ingredients, the predicted sales price of the food item increases by about $3.48. Now, identify with your partner what I considered when creating my original draft and how I decided to revise it. Thinking aloud like this helps students learn how to maximize their meta-awareness so they can clarify their own language use independently. We set the purpose to make algebra accessible to all students. We also looked at and engaged in the criteria for effective implementation of the critique, correct, and clarify routine. Now, it's time for you to determine your next steps. Where will you focus your energy to effectively implement critique, correct, and clarify for your students? First, reference the raise guide before we ask you to consider these questions. If you are new to this routine or just beginning to identify tasks in which to maximize their meta-awareness and optimize their output, then begin here to identify paths and a plan for those opportunities. Once you have identified a task and described how it will maximize meta-awareness and optimize output, begin here to define the major steps of using critique, correct, and clarify in your classroom. When you are ready to apply the routine in your lesson, you are here. When you seek to optimize the routine to further support clarity, compare and contrast multiple representations, you are here. When you have reached a place where critique, correct, and clarify is a normalized routine and you would like to extend the effectiveness to other dimensions of the mathematics classroom, you are here. Review the resources listed at the end of this video. We enjoyed sharing this routine with you and we're hoping you apply, critique, correct, and clarify to provide access to algebra for all students.